Alright boys and girls and welcome to Gordon Guitar. So we have another song here from Imagine Dragons and this one is called Giants. So pretty easy to play and handle so we love that on this channel. Let's start. We don't need any capo for this song but we need to learn four different chords and the chords will be first the B minor. So you need to uh, bar the second fret here from the A string and down. That means the five strings and the rest will be fourth here on the D string, fourth on the G string and third on the B string. Re next chord will be D here. So uh, open D string, second G, third B and second E. Third chord will be A. So open A, second D, second G, second B, and open E. And the fourth and final chord, G. So third on E, second on A, open D, open G, third B, and third E. And you know what? These four chords will be um, played in that order through the whole song. So B minor, D, A, and G. That's the chord progression through the entire song. So very easy to play and remember that. So let's start with um, the melody here. We have this uh, yeah, intro. Uh, we'll just... On the intro, you'll just play one downstroke for each chord, the B minor, D, A, and G. And for the verse, that's where we're gonna need the melody here. It's based upon the different chords here. So I'm gonna show you um, which notes to play for each and every chord here. So let's start with the B minor. The, the B minor part will sound like this. Okay. So what I do there, I think the easiest way is to actually hold a full chord, that's what I do. But you need to play second on the A, then sorry, fourth on the D, and back to second on the A, and fourth on the G. So second A, fourth D, second A, fourth G. And when you play that, uh, the best thing is to try to mute the notes there. So don't let them ring out because that is uh, the feeling in the song. That's how it sounds and how it's played. So try to mute it with uh, either your right hand, put your hand or fingers on top of the strings, or you kind of lift off with your left hand where you're holding the grip there. So. Okay. You play that for two times and then comes the D chord here. It will sound and look like this. All right. So what you play in there is the fifth here on the A string, then the fourth on the D string and back to fifth on D string, A string, sorry. And then second on the G string. So five on A, four on D, five on A, and two on G. Okay. Same way of playing there. Next chord will be A. And when, uh, if you wish, you can just bar the second fret here from the D string and down if you want. Um, you can do whatever you want to do there but the notes you need to play they are the open a string then the second d string then the open a string again and the second b string so okay open a second d open a second b and the fourth chord here is the G, and that sounds like this. So you need to start here on the third E string, 
then open D, then back to third E, and open B. So all these uh, parts here, they will be played for two times, and that goes also for the whole entire song. Each chord, if we choose to play the melody or the strumming, which we'll go through pretty soon here, you will do that for two times for each chord. Yeah, so for the verse here, you're gonna play one round of this melody here, which means B minor, D, A, and G. Uh, so first round of this chord progression here will be played only with melody. And from the second round here, second and final round, which is in the verse there, uh, you will play either the melody or a strumming pattern. So the strumming here, it's down, down, up, clap. And that is one round of the strumming. And you will play, of course, two rounds of that for each chord. So how do we play it? Yeah. Since B minor is the first chord here, we will illustrate with that one. Down, down, up, clap. Like this. Down, down, up, clap. Down, down, up, clap. Down, down, up, clap. A. Down, down, up, clap. And down, down, up, clap. Down, down, up. All right, so that is the second round in the verse there. And that leads us to the chorus in the lyrics. Coming up forward in, in the past, yeah, and so on. That is the chorus. Uh, you need to play here the strumming pattern because uh, the strumming is more dominant here. You can still hear the mill in the background, but uh, yeah, the, now we have more of the strumming here. So it will play pretty much the same strumming as you played in the verse there. But after the clap, you also add one down. So down, down, up, clap, down. So if we illustrate here again with the B minor. Two rounds for each chord and that will sound like this. Play that for two rounds and then comes the second verse there here you can uh, choose to play again either the melody or the strumming for the for the whole second verse so two rounds of melody or the strumming in the same way as we played the second round there in the first verse and then comes the second course played in the same way as we just learned the first course it goes round and round and then after this chorus comes a bridge part. Uh, in the lyrics, if I could leave one thing for you, that is where we are, the bridge part. Still, the same chords there, but we will play them in different way now. It will be total for each chord four downs. So it will sound like this. For the first round, you will play like I just played, and that is when you have a chord here, you play three small downs. You just kind of play on the bass strings here, top two or three strings, depends on. I mean, on the G, you could play the, yeah, the E, A, and D string, something like that. So the first three downs will be a little shorter downs, and the fourth final round, <laughs> sorry, final down will be a full strumming. So, the same with D. A. And G. So, when you have played one round of that, uh, the next round, since the bridge part is about two rounds here, the next round will be a round of strumming 
exactly in the same way as you played the course. And that leads you to the final course there. And uh, that one starts with just lyrics there. So there's no B minor as the first chord. So uh, it just sings common of foreign in the deepest of the deep. And that part is just uh, vocal. So no B minor. So that means it starts with the strumming on the D. And from there on, you're going to fulfill two uh two rounds of the strumming from a standard course strumming pattern there so that pretty much covers this uh, cool song from imagine dragons called giants uh, if you like this one on this tutorial let me know uh, perhaps leave a comment in the, the comment section below and let me know uh, what i did good and what i did bad and i can learn for next time I'm open for all critiques there. And yeah, if you like this one, please thumb up. It helps me a lot there. And subscribe still if you're not a subscriber. It doesn't cost you anything. It just gives me more motivation to work more for you. So I appreciate that. And yeah, see you soon, guys. Don't forget, play tuned.